everybody, this is Carol Hill again, and today's genealogy tip is about how to find other records on Family Search besides these record hints that come up on your person page. So let's assume that you've looked at this John R. Peacock, you've looked at the record hints and, and gained everything you can from them. And if you're a member of Family Search, you can actually review and attach those. And I have a video on that if you'd like to see that. But what we're going to do is come down to the right hand side and we are going to just click on this family search and just because there's these three records up here doesn't mean that that's all of the records that family search has there are much more than that so let's go ahead and click on the family search there's also these other options if you're members of any of these others you can click and it'll go and fill out the field and that's also another video that you can watch but for this one let's go ahead and just click family search Okay, and what this does is it will go over and look through a lot of other records of Family Search. The hints are only just a few that, that Family Search brings up for you. So let me explain this a little bit. This shows you up here that we're looking for John R. Peacock. It shows his so a little bit of information about him, his birth. We don't have a place. And it also shows his spouse up there and if we had parents for him it would actually show his parents too so when you're looking for information you can quickly look and say oh yeah this is them or no this isn't them because that's not the right information so and I wanted to show you on the left hand side there is this is a this is what family search fills out for this search and this is you know put in John R. Peacock we don't have his we don't have his birthplace in yet, which as I find records, you would want to type that in and get that in. Um, but it mainly searches for him as birthplace and birth year range, which is usually, he was born in 1878, so usually Family Search will do two years before and two years after. And if you want to change that, you can just come click on this and, ch and change that. Sometimes you'll need to do that because you'll find more records if you do that too. So, and then there are other options you can add, which we're not going to do right at this point because I want to show you what comes up. But that, that's just the default and that's what Family Search will put in. They won't put any information besides the birthplace and birth year range. That's something that you can do. But let me show you right now, we are on this, see this records tab right here? And so this tells me that there's this is this first page is 1 to 20 of 35,000 results for for John R Peacock using his birth and birth range. And so as you come down here, you'll notice that there is the 1930 census with his wife Lucy. So you can, and this tells the place and you can click on these and look at the image over here. If you click on this, this will bring up that index information that does a little pop out when you're doing the record hints. See that right there? And then you can also view the image right here. You can also just close that if you don't want all that information and then continue down and look. So first off, this 1930 wasn't on the record hint. The 1920 and 1910 was, so that did a great job of, of finding that, but the 1930 wasn't. And that's actually him with his children and then if you keep coming down there's also a possible he's a son on this one in 1880 and this is a possible mother for him so that's something that we could look at but then as you come down um, all of a sudden we're looking in england and wales and these first ones were in alabama and so what i like to do is i like to go over here to the birthplace and let's just put in alabama since we know he was born in Alabama now, and then just come down and we will just update this. And you will see that it will take off those other places. So that's just a nice thing to do. Let me show you if we come down that 1930 and 1910 and all those censuses are still there. But as you can see, I don't have that England and Wales anymore. And so it really narrowed the search down for me, which is awesome. So you don't have to look through as much. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and do that search and then just look through this information and see what you can find there. And we'll be back soon.